In this video, we're going to be talking about the Python enumerate function. And Python, for loops are super easy. So we're just going to make a list here of shapes with a circle, triangle, and square. And then we're going to iterate over it. Boom. That does what you would expect. Uh, take a look at how you do it in JavaScript. It's a little bit different. We've got the a counter. Basically, we, we make a counter. And then we say, hey, once that counter gets larger than length, we're going to stop, and then we're going to increment that counter with each um, iteration. And then we're going to access the item through the index. There we go. And, you know, the result is the exact same thing. And what you might have thought and what you may have ran into with Python is, can I get a counter? Right? So we look back, there is no counter readily available in this Python for loop, but you do get a nice little counter in the JavaScript. So maybe you feel a little bit left out. You could do it yourself. So here we go. We've made a counter, and then we're going to increment it, and we're also going to print the counter just so we can see it kind of fell off here. But you get the, get the idea. So circle, zero, triangle, one, square, two. Or you could use the enumerate function. This is the enumerate function. That's the way it works. It takes an iterable, and then there's an optional start. So here it is. Uh, it, return, it's a, it returns an iterator that contains tuples. So we will just take that same list and we're gonna throw it into the enumerate and it is going to, we're, we're gonna print out each one. And so that's gonna be zero, oh, tuples here, see tuples, zero, circle, one, triangle, yeah. So kind of what you would expect. Uh, oops, wait, what have I done? Uh, da, 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 each shape. Oh, yeah, so, so uh, <laughs> I, it's so subtle, I didn't notice it. So you can actually just create um, two here. Um, this is what you almost always see people doing with enumerate is so for counter, comma, shape, and enumerate, and that's just going to be assigning counter is going to get the value of the counter, and then shape is going to get the value of the shape, and then we can put those out. And now they're no longer tuples because we kind of broke it apart here. You'll see this a lot of times where you assi can assign um, the result of tuples to two separate variables should be hopefully familiar to you. Uh, and then, yeah, so does that make, hopefully that makes sense to you. So now we've got a counter and we've got a shape and we don't have to do it as much gobbledygook. Like when you look at uh, the counter for JavaScript, and I, I'm sure, I think there's an easier way to do this. I'm not a JS developer really um, at all, <laughs> but this is the most common way you'll see a lot of people do it. Um, and it's it totally works and it's, but it's a little bit more, it's not as pretty. It's pretty. I'm sure some JavaScript developers would see this and say, oh, I wish I could write this. And maybe they can. Maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know. <laughs> I know about Python right now. So we can see, so you can print out that shape and you can print out the counter. Now, uh, one thing that is cool, you can do an optional start. So if we wanted to, we can say we've got that shape list right here. And then for each enumerate, uh, we're going to actually tell when to start counting. All right, so like we did before, it's just getting those tuples. It actually starts at the start number. So it start, we give it 100. It's going to start at 100, 101, 102. Could be useful. Um, thank you for watching this video. If uh, you liked it, hit that like button. And if you want to see more of these kind of tutorials, hit the subscribe button. Um, you can follow me on Twitter here. And uh, thank you for your time. And I hope that this video was helpful for you. Thank you.